Oh my goodness, my dear friends, it's been confirmed. The next stage of the Mandalorian story is coming to the big screen. Before Dave Filoni's Mandoverse movie, we're getting another one by Jon Favreau. This is not a rumor, this is from StarWars.com. They say this, The Mandalorian and Grogu journeys to the big screen. Their adventures, that was going to be season 4, tracking down Imperial Remnants, is officially coming to movie theaters. They say this, Directed by Jon Favreau and produced by Favreau, Kathleen Kennedy and Filoni, The Mandalorian and Grogu, which is the name of the project, is going into production in 2024. So it sounds to me this is going to be the next big movie. While they do at the end of this article acknowledge the Ray film, it's not the one coming first. John Favreau goes on to say this, I have loved telling stories set in the rich worlds that George Lucas created. The prospect of bringing the Mandalorian and his apprentice Grogu to the big screen is extremely exciting. John Favreau and Dave Filoni have ushered into Star Wars two new beloved characters, and this new story is a perfect fit for the big screen, and the latter quote is from Kathy Kennedy herself. The project is simply titled The Mandalorian and Grogu, and we have a bit of concept art which looks insane. Now this last bit also has some incredible news with it. The Mandalorian and Grogu will lead Lucasfilm's ongoing feature development slate, including films helmed by Shamino Bechanoi, James Mangold, and Dave Filoni, who is also currently developing Ahsoka Season 2. So that is further confirmation we're also getting an Ahsoka Season 2, but the next big Mandoverse venture, probably in 2025, which is going into production in a couple of months, is called The Mandalorian and Grogu. I honestly didn't expect such enormous, massive news on a random Tuesday. This is what Jeff Snyder was saying. This is what the rumors were saying. And that is going to be the precedent for Dave Filoni's Mandoverse film. So this is going to follow Din Djarin and Grogu on their adventures tracking down various remnants and exploring the underworld. But the story is so pivotal, it's on the big screen. I am honestly lost for words, I need to take a deep breath. Oh my gosh, okay. All I can really say about this is this is the way. Monumental Star Wars news. I've speculated quite a lot about what Din and Grogu are going to get up to, possibly coming into Ray Stone and Hux, going into the Unknown Regions, coming across small threats that could lead back to Thrawn now that he's in the known galaxy, and I think what Jon Favreau is setting up is the massive war between the Remnant and the New Republic. I think we're still way too early for anything to do with the First Order, but the precedent is being set. Super exciting stuff. And because we now have two confirmed big screen Mandalorian movies coming up, one directed by Jon Favreau, the other by Dave Filoni, are they going to make it a trilogy? Could it be true that Timothy Zahn is going to consult on all of them? And is it going to be a canon version adaptation of Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and The Last Command, even if it's a fast and loose Disney-fied adaptation? Also, more opportunities for the likes of Cobb Vanth and Boba Fett back on the big screen. There's no way they don't do more with them. I can't imagine Jon Favreau not including some Rangers of the New Republic stuff. I'm honestly not too surprised by the way they've titled this. The Mandalorian and Grogu seems very appropriate, and I also think it's a marketing strategy. A lot of fans, a lot of casual fans, still call him Baby Yoda, but in previous videos, I've always said, if you put Grogu as the center of anything, I think it's going to do well with audiences, with young kids, the next generation of Star Wars fans. So giving it a simplistic and sort of superhero type of title, Din Djarin being the main character, the Mandalorian, and Grogu. Kind of like Batman and Robin, but I don't want to call Grogu Din Djarin's sidekick, he's not. He's his son. He went from foundling to Mandalorian apprentice. And this is significant, it was mandated by the armor when he was baptized. Grogu needs to go on his journeys, and it's through these said journeys where he's going to learn all about the galaxy, strength, resilience, bravery, everything he needs to. And I think it was so wise of Disney and Lucasfilm to do this as the next big movie. After everything that's been happening with the Ray film, the publicity, the backlash, the fan comments, I think it's a better look to stick with Mando. And they're not calling this season four, which is another wise move. Differentiating it from the small screen stuff, I think the cinematic value of this is going to be insane. You've got to have this on the big screen. And having Favreau direct this is a great choice. Having Dave Filoni as a collaborator and producer is a great choice. I can see this being a raging success. It was the logical stage. So many fans were saying, well, Mando should stay on the small screen. And to the extent of the way the formula has worked, I can understand and see this perspective. But I think a big factor for announcing this now is the statistic we saw the other day that The Mandalorian Season 3 was the most streamed show of 2023. 
and now season 4, or should I say this movie, is about to go into production. I think we're in for some really exciting times. In the midst of myself and many fans saying Star Wars needs a boost, I think a movie was always needed. In terms of the implications of release dates, as far as I know, nothing is confirmed, we know absolutely nothing. This could very well take the 2026 slot. And I think they're going to make an effort to get Pedro Pascal involved in this one. I will follow up with any more news that does come out of this. In terms of release order for the future of the Mandoverse, we have Skeleton Crew this year, then Mandalorian Season 4, should I say, Mandalorian and Grogu, then Ahsoka Season 2, and then Dave Filoni's movie to cap off this end of the Mandoverse, the first phase. That's how I see it playing out. And now that Ahsoka Season 2 has been confirmed, Rosario Dawson gave us a huge tease that Ahsoka, the next time we're going to see her, is not going to be the same. Do you remember when she said she was going to have a huge dinner with the cast and crew? I think it was about the movie, the next stage in all of these characters' stories. And I think with Ahsoka, what she's saying is that after her final lesson from Anakin, she leveled up. I don't know if this means she's going to still be a Jedi, but it means her character is going to be more intuitive and more powerful than ever before. And the significance of Mortis, Anakin, Peridia is similarly very important. We have a lot of questions at this stage with very few answers, but we will keep an eye on everything else that is announced. But a Mandalorian movie that is enormous, a Mandalorian movie that is separate than Dave Filoni's film. And I should reiterate this, they've listed Filoni having his own film as separate. This one is Jon Favreau's vision. They're going to be involved with both, but the first one is Mandalorian and Grogu. I'm excited for the marketing of this. If production is starting in a couple of months' time, then we're no doubt going to have some set photos, some rumours, leaks, and so much more. Very exciting stuff. I'm also kind of curious as to the conversations that sparked this whole thing. What made Jon Favreau go to Kathy and ask for this to be a film? It could be restrictions concerning the volume, but I've no doubt they're still going to use that in some capacity. It may have been the limitations of what he wants to achieve in a fourth season, and it may have just been the natural progression. This was the right time. As I say, Kathleen Kennedy for a long time has been saying projects like Rangers of the New Republic and Rogue Squadron were being infused and sprinkled into other projects. Mando, Din is literally a Ranger for a Delphi Squadron of the New Republic. And we had Jason and making Star Wars come out and say Rangers of the New Republic was also going to have a lot of Cobb Vanth. And I suspect Paul Sun Hyung Lee as Carson Tava. So I think there's a lot to look forward to. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and check out the video on your end screen now.